Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Outlook video, I've got seven really cool calendar tips for you. All of these are really simple. I am using Outlook on the desktop, so let's go ahead and dive into these seven tips. So tip number one is you've got mail, calendar, task, contacts, or people. You can quickly get your calendar with Control-1 will take you to mail. Control-2 opens up the calendar because it is the second icon I have up here. Control-3, Control-4, on and on. Tip number two has to do with what you're looking at. Here is the month of September. Today is September 4th. You can easily pull this over to the right. That will allow you to see more months. I can even pull this down if I wanted to and quickly jump around. If I want to get back to today, click on today up here in the ribbon. We pull this back over. So that was tip number two. Tip number three has to do with your views. Up here, I'm on the home tab under calendar. Here's a range. There is work week, which for me is Monday through Friday. Then there's week view, starts with Sunday, goes to Saturday. Month view, schedule view, day view. But I've also got this next seven days. Next seven days will jump you to whatever today is, and today is Saturday the 4th, and show you the next seven days, and then you can sit here and go through this way if you want to. And again, there's today. So that has to do with your views. One more view tip, I'm gonna call this a view tip. If you need to jump to 2024, there is go to. Just do the little dialog box launcher and you can come in here and change this right here to quickly jump around or control G. The next one is, as long as you're not in month view, because notice I've got, I'm in Atlanta. And so here's Atlanta over here. If I go to month view, you won't see the time zone. So either week, work week or day, you see the time zones. I'm gonna just stay in work week. Here's a range. To quickly get here, I'm gonna add two more time zones. Come here to calendar options. There I go right there, scroll down. I put in ATL in that top box right there. I've got notice Eastern time. I'm gonna add a second one. Christian who edits my videos is over in the UK. So I put in London. There we go. And I'm making this up. I am dealing with a customer or a client that's in Hawaii. So I put in Hawaii. So now when I hit OK, I should see three time zones over to the left. And there they are right there. So that's another cool feature. So Christian is five hours ahead of me. And there is Hawaii over here also. So if someone says in Hawaii, hey, can we meet at 1 p.m.? I know I just need to be ready at 7 p.m. Next one after the time zones, one of my favorite features and also a pet peeve of mine is having back-to-back -back meetings. It drives me crazy. It's almost impossible to be prepared whether you're in person having a back-to-back -back meeting or even remote and we got this hybrid uh, coming up. So Outlook's got us covered here. Again, I'm gonna go back here Right here, shorten appointments and end meetings. You can either end early or start late. End early is what I prefer. Meetings that are less than one hour, we're gonna end them five minutes early so they actually get scheduled for five minutes less. One hour longer, but you can also come in here and change that, maybe eight minutes. It's impossible if you're in person and a meeting is, ends at 10 o'clock and you've got to be somewhere else. You can't be somewhere else with no time to spare. Also, if a meeting's running over and you're in that conference room and somebody else is coming in afterwards, there's no buffer time. So what do they do? They come in and interrupt your meeting anyway because it's their time to start. Same thing applies with online meetings. So there's that feature. Next one. Oh, I love this feature here. So not only can we change our views here at the top, if I want to only show certain days on my calendar, so I've got three months over here and I'm, pick, I'm making this up. I want to show Tuesday the 7th. I'm going to hold down control and click on the 7th, the 14th, the 22nd, and October 22nd. Look at my calendar. Two, three, 
two Tuesdays, one Wednesday, and one Friday. So you can hold down the control key and select days. Which leads me to this point, since we're talking about selections, I can also come in here and I just highlighted three weeks over here. I'm going to do two weeks in October and that's what you get. So you can use, you can select other items in this range up here. The last one, this should be number seven if my numbering is correct. If I need to meet with people internally at my same company, I'm going to do the scheduling assistant. If I need to meet with people internally and a lot of people outside my company, I'm going to use, let me pop over here to show you this, and I've done a video about this already. Uh, when you do a new mail message, I would use Microsoft's new meeting poll feature and come up with some dates. But what if I'm meeting with just one person or maybe two people? If I'm meeting with one person, why don't I just send them my calendar? So if I go to insert on the email, click into the body, click on calendar, here's calendar. How many days out do you want to show them? I need to meet with somebody in the next seven days. And then what availability do you want to show them? Just availability only. Hit OK. And so now they can look at my calendar. They're not seeing any details down here. And they can email me back with a date and time that they want to meet. So there's that feature. I hope you enjoyed this Outlook session on these seven tips. I actually had 15, but I did not want to do 15 in one video. So I'll be back again probably next week with some more Outlook tips. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell or hit the bell, whatever that means. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. Thank you.